check out this sweet rig. Thanks to you guys, I think I have this a little bit better figured out. I'm gonna go out, do some uh, camping, a little filming, and some riding. It's a nice dress you got there. Ready. Ready, dance. <laughs> I avoid the biggest of the rocks. <laughs> Swag's cheering them on. They were so wet coming down from Mare Lookout and right in the sun. Of course, you guys know how it gets. <laughs> how do I get on this? I can't just swing my leg over. I'm going to try the through method this time, and then later when I'm not on such an angle, I'll uh, try something on the other side. There. Okay, I'm going to meet up with Andrew. He's going to drive out with me to where I'm camping, and then uh, leave me alone. Come on, baby. All right, let's go. So far so good, nothing's juggling around, but we're gonna spank this thing through the cracks of heart now. That'll put it to the test. See if we get any fuel bottles flying. Camp chairs launching. It's staying nice and tight. What's really noticeable is how much your suspension is compressing. Oh really? Yeah, it's like, well, you're, you're a big fat fatty. Yeah, well, it's smooth riding. Yeah. I'm just not used to. I'm smelling a lot of gas. Well, let's see. Oh, it's oh yeah. Coming out of here. Oops. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not used to seeing your bike compress that much. It's okay. it doesn't look like it's going to bottom out, but we if learn to crank it up so that we can go, yeah. say we're going camping, let's crank it up a few times. Add some comp compression preload. Yeah. Preload. Cool. Well, this is going to be a little bit of a tougher part, and uh, it's fine as long as I don't jump. It's hitting me in the bum, but it's not. Not hard enough to send me over, but if I jump, like I, do, I don't think I can make nah, it. Nah, yeah. Let's do this, and then let's go do plumber's butt and see if I have any skills. Okay. All right. What's gonna fly out first, folks? Place your bets. I've been given the nod from Andrew. It's time to go up. I like going up this in second gear. Here he comes, folks. Up the crack. Can he do it? Ah, I did it without touching the ground. Okay, that wasn't easy. I had a big smile on my face the whole way though. After experiencing Invermere and what it had to offer, Andrew and I have a whole new interest in dirt bike camping. So that could mean driving out into the middle of nowhere, like let's say Trout Lake, for example, setting up camp, taking off the bike, uh, taking the gear off the bike to make it lighter and then doing a bunch of shots up the sides of the mountains to glaciers and mines and all that. And then we also have one very specific goal and that is to be able to camp on top of Sugar Mountain. And that's going to be really challenging to get up we named the uh the route for the adventure bike gathering six kilometers of crazy because those last 6k they're steep they're gross they're rooty oh not so rooty rocky lots of rocks really loose rocks and driving something like this up there is going to be really tough so we're getting out there we're going to be training with all of our luggage on carrying our camping gear around and doing some kind of hard enduro should be fun i love it when a plan starts with this may be ill-advised <laughs> In a previous clip, I erroneously said we'll do some hard enduro on this bike with all the luggage. And I know what hard enduro means, and I know that's not what we ride. So I apologize. I stand corrected. I will do some trail riding, <laughs> some enduro riding. Far from hard enduro. But this is going to be a challenging trail with that huge thing behind my bum. What? Trying to look a little bit further ahead, get my eyes up. Moving around the bike a tremendous amount. Or maybe it's moving me around. 
I can feel that top pouch wagging me a bit from side to side. There, I just took my first dab of the ride. I don't like doing that. I value not touching the ground over speed. Keeps me focused on the right things, right? Okay, second dab. <laughs> but did you see that? That was pretty vert. <sighs> okay, breathe, breathe. Try to loosen up on the hands. The A-line's to my right, I'm not doing that. I don't do that unloaded. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm stopped. Okay. This could be a little problem. <sighs> Whoa. Piece of cake. Okay. I'm standing. I'm over the route. Oh, I hit that second one hard. <laughs> what a thrill. What a thrill. Good stuff. This might not be a thrill if I don't make it. Might be me eating the windshield on a 501. I did it. I hopped it up just in time. Which is weird, I went to throw my weight back and my bum hit all my camping gear. Okay, we're headed into the thick trees here. We're gonna have a bit of a slope to deal with and there's a harsh route. I think I try to avoid if I can look ahead enough. I think I just, I think I just did it. Just passed it. All right, killer. I just turned off the camera and rode through this thing at neck height and if i had kept going all this would have sliced across the front of my neck and maybe chopped my head right off Ow. so geez, it went right behind you let's break that sucker that's a serious serious hazard it's gonna happen sooner or later you gotta get over an obstacle but do you mind spotting me andrew yeah. i think this is hey if i was unloaded this would be fine i don't want to overestimate my abilities at all especially with that big high center thing on the back first part's not gonna be that bad right oops okay first isn't gonna be that bad i'm just worried about tipping when i get to the apex of it <laughs> nice and easy right okay put the weight back Try and track it up a little bit further. Yeah, I think it went. Hey, right, guys. That big fat fatty. <laughs> I'm trying to get just a little bit more. There. Now I can tip it forward. I'm gonna be not tall enough for a second here, so okay. ready for the yeah. ready for the show. Roll! Wow, we did it. Okay, I gotta turn. Fire it up. I did it! I had a spotter which made it safer. I think that was wise. We did it just fine. Oh, well done. Way to go! Yeah. Let's keep going. Right. We're taking a bit of a shortcut to get off that trail because it goes quite a bit longer and uh, I can't remember what it's like. I don't want to get in over my head. We still have many kilometers to go to my campsite. I definitely want to be on a river tonight. I only know a couple places where I can do that, so. Time to hit the road and boogie. Okay, we've stopped at my destination where we're gonna camp tonight. Everything's held together fairly well, despite being way too far forward. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna camp, but it might be a little bit bizarre to you, but I explain. So we found this place, this beautiful dump, uh, earlier this year. And some people were living out here it's just the strangest assortment of garbage that's been left behind. I'm going to start the cleanup. I uh, probably won't truck it out of here today, but I can get it all together. But it's really quite a gem. We walk down here. There are lots of nice little places. I'll probably set up my tent there. There's a beautiful little brook here. Hey, you like it? Very much so. She's a bit of a fixer-upper. One thing I didn't tell you about that campsite is it's very close to the beer store. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty deluxe. Let it go. 
Okay, I'm back to my home for the night. Junkyards to the right. Down here in Cowpie Alley. I'm gonna weave my way through there. I think I'll go up this way. This is looking pretty good. That's where I think my tent's gonna be. Beautiful. Okay, looking good. Before I get into this, I'll show you what we already pulled out of here. I am fine tuning this and it's been great having a couple people to brainstorm with. There's the bag that I put my food in and I throw my food up in a tree. There's my empty dromedary bag to get more water. Here's a little bit of wine that I got before I knew that I was going to be by the beer store. I brought this thing out, it's heavy as hell. The speaker. Fuel for my stove. Hammock inside my titanium cup. Here's tonight's dinner, Louisiana style red beans and rice. We got some wicked hot sauce to go with that. My chair, shoes, stove, and this is my tripod and the clothing I took off when I got into my dirt bike gear. It's heavy, man. It was on top. And as soon as I felt that this was gone, my bike became so much more nimble. And this weighs as much as everything else there. Got to rethink that. It's aluminum tripod, but she's heavy. Okay, let's quickly get into this. All right, this is a North Face bag that's pretty well traveled. There's the beer. It's all in the zipper now. That's important to have. Extra nice. Let's get rid of that. Uh, maybe put in the clean moss over here. Get that in the stream really shortly. And then basically all the rest of my camping stuff. That's toiletries and some extra stuff. My sleeping bag. Ta -da! So I have this summer backpack and sleeping bag. Threw it in the stuff sack and boy, it got tiny real quick. Let's throw that down there. That is... This is my stove. That was water purification. The thing I said was my stove. This was a recommendation from Island Mike. Airstream. I can't read it. Anyways, that's my new inflatable mattress. It's way tinier and supposedly way easier to fill. I just bought this today. I'm going to try this Ben's Deet coffee for tomorrow morning. Just unceremoniously throwing things around. I got my tent. No bivvy suck this time. Nope. We got a mountain hardware tent. It's quite nice some food, pot, and a pillow. I think Island might call this a princess pillow. I don't think that's the brand name. I think that's just describing how nice it is. And the great thing is I don't need to take that off or that. That's just all dirt biking stuff. Tomorrow when I arrive, this is going to go gone and we're going to rip it up. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. First things first, let's get the beer in the cooler. I think it's gonna be nice and cold. No, it's not that cold. Are you colder than the beer? Well, we'll do three there, and I'll just have to drink these three. Okay? All right, put those over there. I'm taking off the helmet, which means the camera goes bye-bye, and cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, if I can make some slight weight and bulk reductions to my road, then I think it's gonna be okay going up to the top of sugar. I gotta figure out where to ditch weight. And unfortunately, I might be sitting on that thing right now. It is really nice having a chair, but it takes up a lot of space, man. Maybe one of those foamy things that you can sit on just to bring a little cushion with you. I don't know. That's one thing I'm thinking about. I love this. That was so easy. The one I used last weekend was terrible compared to this. Comparable thickness. Okay, here. Of course, we're not fun for anybody. See the summit. Island Mike, thank you. So far, so good. Um, I bought, <laughs> I bought the, the pillow lock system. So I think there's some pieces that were in those bags. I stick them there, I inflate the pillow, boom, comfort. You know what, it seems, like I spent, I don't want to tell you how much I spent today, but this was a little over 200 bucks, and the pillow was a little over 50 bucks, so I spent obviously at least 250 bucks. But you know, if you're out here, and you're not sleeping well, and the whole thing's about dirt biking, 
How well are you going to dirt bike tomorrow if you have a crap sleep tonight? I was just looking through all my stuff and getting ready to contemplate dinner or maybe put up the hammock, which is in my titanium cup. Yeah, hammock. Love this thing. That's not coming to the top of the mountain either. No point, no trees. Is um, So Island Mike suggested this gravity system for treating water. And I have a life straw, which I take on dirt bike rides in case I run out and I need to sit in the stream. It's tiny. This thing's kind of huge. And it's a pump system, so it's good for processing a lot of water. But I've since heard from another person that that gravity system is really cool. So i got to find out the name of it. But I think that's coming to a dirt bike near me pretty soon. Okay, next. Okay, I'm gonna try a little weird filming here. I'm on uh, one side of the screen. There's a whole bunch of nice stream over there. And soon my screen is gonna be on that side. I'm gonna start screen recording right now. All right, so the way we introduce this is by saying, I might be one of the most organized people that you've ever met. Now, I know that's a big thing to say, so I gotta give you a little bit of proof. You can't just go and say stuff like that. All right, start sharing the screen. This is from DATS. This is our Spark app, which means it's the app that we use for offline. I've created a packing checklist for going camping on my dirt bike that takes into account various scenarios. Now, I'm not trying to show you this so that you come out and subscribe to DATS because you're a dirt biker or adventure biker too. It doesn't make sense. I have this tool, so I'm using it. And it's great testing. But this is for businesses. You go out, you do some sort of mission, you need to make sure you have everything that you're supposed to have. Any type of industry. This module that I'm using is called Anything Forms. It's, uh, you can build any type of form. It'll show up on the phone or iPad. People can fill it out. And then when you get back to connectivity, it can be submitted to headquarters. I'm showing you this for two reasons. One, because it's a DATS thing. And everything we're doing is sponsored by DATS. It's our company. We buy all the stuff through there. But I'm also working with you guys to make my packing checklist. So as I scrolled there, you should have seen that on the side of the screen. So you can see the things that I've packed. I've got my front inner tube. I don't have a rear inner tube. Andrew's packing that. When we go together, then it might be nice to have both those inner tubes. I have my own tire iron, CO2 cartridges, hand pumps. The pressure gauge, I don't have. That's got a red negative next to it because that's something I want to fix. I want to have a little pressure gauge. I have one on my Big 1090. I don't have one here. I do have my tool roll, electrical tape, zap straps. I don't have JB Weld. It's been on my to-do list for like two weeks. I haven't picked it up yet. My multi-tool, I have an OFI, their opportunity for improvement. Truth be told, I'm not sure if I have it. That's why I put that down. I didn't dig into those side pouches. I know I have my duct tape. Moving down further, replacement parts, front brake lever, clutch lever, rear brake pedal. That just arrived at Rider's Edge. Same with the shift pedal. I don't have those yet. It's red, it's negative, it's bad. I want to have them, especially when I'm deep in the mountains. Those little fuel filters, spare bolts, I got them, I got them. Bear spray, check. Bushcraft knife, check. Kenwood radio, check. First aid, triangular bands, bear bangers and flares, spotter in reach. I have the spot, Andrew has the in reach. White flagging, that's an inside joke uh, for toilet paper. <laughs> Heavy duty garbage bag, I have one. If Andrew filled this out, he'd have a red negative next to that, unless he's already placed it because on the last ride, we were at the top of that mountain, it was pouring rain, he made his heavy duty garbage bag into a jacket, right? Space blanket, cordage, headlamp, buff, lighter, or striker. I have both. Cotton balls and Vaseline. If you haven't done that yet, they're awesome for starting fires. Silky saw, still a negative. If you watch our videos, you know that I lost my great big awesome silky saw somewhere in Invermere. And I haven't replaced it yet. I, keep, I haven't left the office. I've either been dirt biking or working. I'm very one or the other right now. Hydration bladder, life straw, high energy food, two extra energy bars. All oh, this is just great. It's thanks to you guys, in part, that I've been able to build this. My GoPro, extra batteries. I know I'm just going through the whole list, but this is really cool for you guys who are watching this, who are way more experienced than I am at dirt bike camping. You can look at this and go, yeah, that's kind of cool, or here's some better ideas. And then for those of you who don't do this, but aspire to do it, you might even slow this down or pause it and write down some of the things you want to bring too. Obviously, we filmed. So the GoPro, I got it. Extra batteries, yes. 
I don't have the micro SD card, it's an OFI. See, the difference between OFI for me and negative, and this is just one of the ways to build this form, or any form. Negative is bad, red, stop, you know, don't go. OFI means, hey, it could be better. It's not gonna stop my mission. I don't really care if I have an extra SD card, it's just nice to have. I filled it up once, and that was on Sugar Mountain. Uh, the external microphone gear for the GoPro, that, today's the first time I've tried it. Uh, small tripod, nope. The big tripod, Corey, yes. Small Sony kit, yep. FX3, no. Moving down further, pack clothing. The Revit jacket liners, I have my warm flare and my Gore-Tex flare packed away on my bike. My riding gloves, my cold weather riding gloves, which I wish I had on the last ride, now I have them permanently packed. That's one of the reasons I moved up from the, uh, no, I can't even think of the name. Doesn't matter. The old luggage to the new luggage, because I can't remember either of the names. Hey, remember, I've had two beer. Uh, it's because I needed just a bit more room to pack the stuff to go into the mountains. Moving on, spare lightweight gloves, bug hat. Yep, yep, tent, sleeping bag, mattress, check, check, check. I do have some things missing. I wrote them down on a piece of paper. I have to add them to this form when I get back to headquarters, like my pillow. My pillow is not on here, and I want to have it in my checklist. Moving down, cooking and eating. I have a whole bunch of things there. I'm just going to scroll really fast now. Camping food. You can tell what I'm eating based on this. I have uh, a backpacker's dinner, coffee grounds, oatmeal for breakfast, and I have some crazy hot sauce. I got my clothing packed. I did. This one's empty, my camp towel, because I honestly don't know if I have my camp towel. And when I was getting out of my dirt bike here and into this clothing, I thought, man, if I have my camp towel, I'm just going to go lie down in this little screen here. Didn't know if I had it, so I decided not to go for the dunk. Other camping gear, uh, yeah, everything's looking good, except they don't have a book, and that's a bad thing. I wish I did. And I get down to the bottom, and I can select a photo or take a photo. So if I wanted, if I was out here doing... Remember, this doesn't, this has nothing to do with dirt biking. For me, it does. But the way this app works, it doesn't. So you might, as part of your process when you're out working, have to take pictures. You might have to mark them up and put arrows on them or circle things. Maybe it's a hazard or a stream crossing or whatever. That's what that's for. And then finally, the users at the bottom, I can add additional people from my DATS account so that if I need to send this to them or include them on the list so they can see it, I can add them right here. I get back to home or to my office. I submit. Zoom goes through the internet and gets routed to people's desktop computers. So that was a lengthy discussion, but I'm really happy with this list that I've made. I think it could be better. It is continually improving, but I am truly one of the most organized people you ever meet once I latch on to something. I can't do it for everything, but when I take something seriously, like dirt bike camping or my work, I've got it dialed, and that's just the way that I do it. Okay, once again, this is tonight's dinner, Louisiana style. Red beans and rice with some deadly hot sauce. And we're required to add two and a half cups of water, which is 600 mils. Conveniently, my titanium cup, that 600 mils. So I'm going to go steal this from my bike where I have a big bladder. And then throw it on the stove, the flamethrower as we like to call it. This is Camelback military stuff. <laughs> it's it's freaking awesome. It's really expensive, especially the pack part. And I can just open that, I pick out the bite valve, open it, and I'm just going to squeeze this down in, make the water come out. Here it comes. Come on. Yeah. And it will take a seriously short amount of time to boil this water. Seal it up. Come back in 20 minutes. There. Okay, I grabbed these two things out of my bike. <laughs> this is a new packing solution for me. I just wanted, I want things compartmentalized and a little bit squish proof, I think. So let's see what's in each one of these. Let's just grab one. Aha, okay, this one's got a compression bandage. I got used to carrying these when I ran chainsaw uh, as a student. Yeah, you just get used to it. Bad cut compression bandage. Never had to use it, thankfully. That is a uh, triangular bandage. So I had training back in the day as an industrial first aid attendant. And because I ran crews of guys working chainsaws. Oh, and this is, uh, I don't know what this is called. This is like a tensor bandage tape. It's self-adhesive. 
these are just the kind of things, you know, when things go sideways, they'd be nice to have, and they're in addition to my little dinky first aid kit. You know, someone's shoulders dislocated or something like that, or they got a big gushing wound. That's gonna be good. Or if I blow my knee again, that orange thing is going around it and to help hold things together. Okay, number two. Ah, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna want my headlamp soon. I like to put it around my neck before it gets dark out so that when it does get dark, I have it. There's my fire striker thing. I also have a lighter, a Fox 40 whistle, which I got used to carrying one as a tree planter because everybody has one of those. They're insanely loud. Uh, I'm probably gonna put that on my vest but that vest that I was wearing today, and that's a whole other episode I want to share that with you guys once I know a bit more about it. Today is my first day wearing it. It's not coming with me all the time. That's a sometimes thing. And these are, I think I have a lot of them. It's an awfully big bag for something squished down the bottom. That could be better. These are cotton balls that have been soaked in Vaseline. And what you do is you pull them apart. Just take one of them, pull it apart, put it with your little kindling. and then, Oh, sorry, tripod. Excitement. Uh, just hit it with the hit it with a spark and it will boom gone like it's gonna go you can dip it in water I could go down to that stream dip that in water bring it up here stretch it out we didn't have to wring it out hit it with a spark and boom it's gonna light up I know because I've done it okay that's it I'm still waiting for dinner so I'm gonna keep putting around doing stuff to see what comes up okay there's dinner 20 minutes I checked it it was not awesome. It's been about 30. Hey, I gotta eat that. Yep, I'm gonna eat that. It's bland. It needs some hot sauce, which we transferred from the big thing to this thing. This is the ghost pepper sauce that I had um, up at Farnham Glacier. It's nuclear. But I've worked my way up to that over the years. Throwing a good dollop of that. I'll transfer it to my titanium cup and sit back and enjoy. This is, without a doubt, the best rehydrated meal I've had. And I have good hot sauce with it too, but... Mmm. Damn, it's good. What we have here is a sleeping bag that is not in a bivy. We're in a tent. No fly tonight. Hope there's not too much condensation. This is way more comfy than last week. All right, good night. Good morning. I was all excited pouring my coffee into this thing and my battery died. And I think that's such a neat shot. Hot water going into there. The coffee comes out the bottom. Oh well, the important part is I have coffee. It didn't spill. Steamy. So, how did you sleep last night? Well, me? It was better than last time, I'll tell you that much. That uh, Thermarest thing, oh, it's not a Thermarest. The mattress is really good, but it feels tippy like you're gonna roll off it all the time. I'm gonna try it with less air next time. Pillow is nice, sleeping bag is awesome. I mean, tent is a good thing too. Okay, I'm all geared up and ready to go. One problem, these three little fishies, they need to go somewhere special. I'll be through here again. Let's see. Let's find a nice spot. Don't you guys tell anybody. But you know what, we'll make it easy. Put them right in here. Bloop. Maybe someone will find them. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll be here for me next time. Okay, let's ride. Garbage consolidated. I'll be back in a couple of days with the truck. Pick that up. Make it nice and clean. I'm gonna bring a rake too. Okay, everybody, until next time. This is Dirt Chip signing out.